So this is uh, using what we learned last week a little bit, a little bit of review. And what you've got to remember is um, the SOHCAHTOA, the sine ratio, is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse for whatever angle you're talking about. So they're asking me for this one to find the sine of angle Z. Well, here's angle Z. Here's the hypotenuse, because that's the longest side. And the side opposite is always that side that's directly opposite the angle you're talking about. So for this, for this problem, the answer will be 30 over 50, which reduces to 3 over 5. Okay, now for number 2, that we're talking for the cosine of angle Z. Well, here's angle Z, here's the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent side because it's next to it. I need that adjacent side because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of angle Z will be 15 over 25, which reduces to 3 over 5. Now for the tangent, we need, and we're talking about angle X, so there's angle X. Here's the opposite side, here's the adjacent side. I need the opposite and the adjacent because that's what tangent uses. Remember, this is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. So the tangent of angle X will be 8 over 15, and that doesn't reduce. So now we're in for the, some new learning. Well, they're asking me to find that missing side. So what you have to remember is uh, here's the angle they told me. This side is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. The side that they're looking for is the opposite side. So then I've got to ask myself, which trig ratio uses opposite and hypotenuse? Because those are the two sides I've got to deal with. So if I think about Sokotoa, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, and that's what I have. So I'm going to write a proportion. I'm going to say the sine of 70 degrees is the same as x divided by 10. So now I can treat that as a proportion. I can do my cross products. So 10 times the sine of 70, whatever that is, equals x times 1. So then I grab my calculator. So on these little blue calculators, I pressed the sine button and then I typed in 70, and then I hit equals, and it gave me that decimal, and then I'm just going to multiply that by 10. Um, and I could go back and show in the calculator, but since multiplying by 10 is just moving a decimal point over one place, that's going to become 9.4. Okay, so that missing side is 9.4 long. Now the next question is asking us about finding that missing side. It also looks like it's a sign. So I'm going to let you think, I'll stop the video, Try doing this problem yourself. It's just like the one I just did. And then come back and watch my answer. So this is the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse. I'm going to write the sine of 57 equals x over 20. So that's over 1. So my cross product is 20 times the sine of 57. That's what equals x. So then on my calculator... Do you see how I just typed in exactly that? 20 times the sine of 57, and that found the sine of 57 degrees, which is that decimal, some decimal, and I times it by the 20, and that's where I got the that answer. So the length, this side, is going to be 16.8 long. All right, so this number 6 on the next page. This is asking me to use this angle. This is the adjacent side. This is the hypotenuse. Well, I know that cosine uses adjacent and hypotenuse, so that's the trig ratio I'm going to write. I'm going to write the cosine of 39 over 1 equals 11 over x. So then I'm going to cross multiply and divide. So I'm going to do 11 times 1. Now, if you want, let me step, step back here. Let me show you this. So I could grab my calculator right now and find the cosine of 39. So I'm going to do that. You just press cosine 39, and you hit equals, and I got that decimal. So one thing you could do to help you, help you if this is really confusing, doing just jumping to shortcuts, I could replace cosine 39 with the, those four decimal places, put that over 1, and that equals 11 over x. So then... Now you just got a regular old proportion. You're going to cross multiply and divide. So basically I'm going to take 11 and divide it by that number there. So 11 divided, I won't show you that 
calculator, but uh, calculation, but I got a 14.2 if I rounded. And that makes sense that that side is longer because it's the hypotenuse. So something you could do with your calculator is this. See, I just typed in 11 divided by the cosine of 39 without having to do this replacement right here, and it'll give me the same answer. So that's a shortcut that'll help you do it. Why don't you go ahead and stop this video and watch and try number seven. It's a similar kind of question, still using cosine, and then come back and watch my answer. So I know this is the adjacent side. This is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. So this is cosine again. So the cosine of 23 over 1 equals 12 over x. So then I'm just going to cross multiply divide. And so 12 divided by the cosine of 23 would be that answer. And the calculator's telling me that that's about 13.0. I just realized that last question, I wrote the answer in there. The last question was dealing with that hypotenuse. Okay, let's try the next one. So here I'm seeing, let's see, here's the angle, here's the opposite side, here's the adjacent side, and here's the hypotenuse. Well, since I know the adjacent, I want the opposite, I want to think, oh, this is a tangent, the toe apart. So I'm going to write the tangent of 61 over 1 equals x over 14. And now that you guys are getting more as an expert with this, I'm just going to know that the cross product is going to be 14 times the tan of 61. And then just type that in your calculator. So this calculator is telling me that that missing side is 25.3 long. Okay. So why don't you try this next one? It's exact same kind of situation, another tangent problem. So I'm assuming you've tried it. So here's the opposite side, here's the adjacent side, here's the hypotenuse. Again, tangent, so the tangent of 20 over 1 equals x over 10. So we're going to do the cross products. 10 times the tangent of 20 will be our answer. Calculator is telling me that that is uh, 3.6. Okay, so these last two are also looks like series. Here's an opposite, here's the adjacent. So that's another tangent problem. Here's another opposite, here's an adjacent. It's another tangent problem. I'll let you try that on your own. So that's what I got for those two answers using the tangent. So now we're into the second part of the new stuff for today. I am looking for that angle measure. So I've seen that this is the opposite side, this is the hypotenuse. And then I'm asking myself, well, what angle, what trig ratio uses opposite and hypotenuse? Well, you remember that that sine. So the sine of that angle, however big that angle is, equals 16 over 42. So the way we can use these calculators to find an angle when I know the sine is if you see over the sine button. So on your calculator, you see how the little blue sign to the negative one, that's called the arc sign, the inverse sign, the way you access that is you press second, that button, and that'll show you on the screen sign to the negative one, and then you can just type in the fraction. I'll show you that now. So that's what I did. I pressed the second sign. Notice I used parentheses. Okay, and that's what that angle measure is, is 23.4 degrees. one. We're looking for that angle. Here's the opposite side. Here's the hypotenuse. Another sine relationship. So I can, I know I'm going to do the inverse sine, the arc sine. So I'm going to do arc sine of 12 divided by 45 because that's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And that's what I got for an angle. It's that angle is 15.5 degrees. Okay. So this next one, I'm, again, I'm looking for an angle, but here they told me the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So you've got to remember that cosine uses adjacent over hypotenuse. So again, I'll write it out long way, but the arc cosine of that angle, or the, I'm sorry, it should be the cosine, should, the long way is just write it out cosine. The cosine of that angle equals 18 over 54. So we're going to arc cosine that, second cosine that. So arc cosine of 18 
divided by 54. Do that right in your calculator. I'm getting 70.5 degrees. So this is again the same deal as the arc cosine. I'll let you let you look at it and try it. Just did that on my calculator. I got 72 degrees. Well, 71.995, which rounds to 72. Make sure that you're doing the second cosine, not just the cosine. Okay, these last two questions, looking for that angle. Here's the opposite side. Here's the adjacent side. Here's the hypotenuse. You've got to remember that tangent uses the opposite over the adjacent. So we're going to do the arc tan, the second tan of 18 over 29, because it's O over A. And that's what the calculator told me, 31.8 degrees. So you should try this next problem on your own. Try, try to come up with it and come back and watch it. Watch my answer. So for this one, here's the opposite. Here's the adjacent. So it's tangent again. So arc tan of 3 divided by 11 will be... And that's what the calculator told me, about 15.3 degrees. Okay, so now you should probably go into your skill packet and try those problems. You can also do that pizzazz sheet that I gave you, the both sides of that. So hope this helps you, helps you out and ask me questions if you get stuck.